Okay, this could be really bad. Yeah, that could have been super bad. Thankfully, we were kind of prepared for it. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa. Hey guys and welcome back to Terror Attack with me Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So in the last episode, we kind of... We did a bunch of stuff. We were running all over the place, looking for stuff, talking about stuff. And at the end of it, we were talking about building a base, right? Um, and we were gonna... I was debating on using this base, but it looks like it's gonna be... Yeah, I shouldn't say it looks like it's gonna be too small for us. I decided <laughs> in between recordings here that we're going to go big. Uh, we're going to make a massive base. Now, I've made quite a few different styles of base over the years of doing Terra Tech. And uh, obviously, we've had just the stationary, you know, land base. Uh, I've made hover bases with uh, Better Future. And, you know, we've had all different styles. But there's one type of base. Oops, I didn't want to do that. That I haven't really made that I can think of. And that's one that's right off the side of a mountain. Um, so that's more or less what we're going to try and do here today. We're going to start uh, getting ready to start crafting some... Uh-oh. Invader already? Uh, where is it? Sorry, we're going to start uh, yeah, getting ready to... Sorry, I'm just trying to get us in a place where we might be able to defeat this invader. Let's get above him if we can before he spawns in. But to where we, yeah, where we can start crafting a ton of stuff and, you know, being able to do some crazy builds, right? So, I don't want... Okay, lock onto this guy. Okay. Now we're in a little bit of trouble because the invader got back up. <laughs> Come on. Let's try and hold on to that. Oh, come on. Just finish him off. This is a smaller tech, right? Uh, it is one we've only used in the past. I think this was our uh, <laughs> Geocorp tech. Well, it is Geocorp, but, you know, one that, uh, man, that we built at the very beginning of this season. So, go to Anchor Blocks. Let's capture all of these parts if we can. But like I was saying, we're going to build a uh, base off of the mountain. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I'm trying. I'm going to try and do two anchor points, which is, you know gonna be a little difficult uh, especially if you unanchor and then anchor back in the game might not allow it so it's gonna be a little difficult doing that but yeah I do want to build I want to craft an unbelievable amount of blocks um, and then also by having a base we're gonna get a lot of text spawning in and having a base off the side of a cliff is not uh, I don't think it should be a bad thing so let's start here what do we have? 17, so we can't really... Hmm. We might actually be able to... Let's see here. Just trying to think how far we can go out. So 7... 16. Okay, so there we go. Now, the only benefit to, oops, to this is uh, techs like to attack where the cab is, right? So if our cab is in the middle, they should leave our anchor blocks alone. It, although I am going to have it protected, but uh, yeah, we should be protected that way. Like this. Because I do want to make, uh, obviously some massive techs, some crazy techs, and it just, it's always nice to have a lot of blocks kicking around, right? Hmm. 
Oops. Let's go to build beam. Gotta go up the hill a little bit. Can't anchor in there. So, <laughs> this is kind of <clears throat> interesting way of trying to anchor in, right? All right, I got the double anchors. Now also, I did just notice as I was counting that this side is one block shorter than this side, but I'm not gonna stress about it. Just what it is, what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start building the base. All right, so I kind of have the start of a base and then I was like, uh, foundation, I guess you'd say. So everything that's, um, what is it, Geocorp here? It's gonna be the foundation, that's where we're gonna start from. Everything in the center is gonna change as we move along. Now, what I do want to do, just so you guys know what my plans are, so we can kind of all envision it together without having the blocks for it, but I plan on having a tiered system as I normally do, but a very large tiered system. So pretty much this main floor, or this main foundation here, is just going to be uh, storage in the end. When we have you know, enough blocks and stuff like that, this will all be storage, we'll build up another level, and then that'll be the manufacturing. Um, also, kind of thinking in my head here. <laughs> but we might actually just make it. So, here I'll unanchor this guy. Because uh, not too long ago, I guess, well, maybe it might be a long time ago. But we can now drive. Uh, if I, yeah. We can now drive up on top of our blocks. And we are close enough to the cliff edge that, you know, it is a pain on the butt a little bit. It's not crazy, right? So we might actually just make it so we can drive our tech on here onto the platform, put some guardrails around, uh, have it charged with uh, wireless chargers while it's unloading. Um, and then so we'd have one, two, three. It'd be a three-tiered base, which would actually kind of be pretty cool. Um, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Uh, definitely two, three, we'll think about. Um, I'm not going to say no to three also, so... Uh, and I messed up over here. I just noticed that. Hmm. Okay. So, go over here. So, pretty simple. We bring the resources in, come in. Uh, they get collected by the lots of silos. I have a refinery here. Uh, and then two component factories, which I'm really surprised at. I thought we had, you know, a lot more component factories than what we do. We don't. We only. We even only have one dongle, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, we haven't been doing any fabrication at all this season. Uh, but anyways, uh, all three are uh, Geocorp, or Geocorp, GSO, and Venture fabricators here. Um, and then what I want to do is get rid of you because I don't need that. That's the Venture Scrapper. Yeah, I think we need to set down the Scrappers because I do believe... Oh, we got lots of wood. Do have anything else? Actually, we really don't have a crazy amount of anything else. All right, fine. That works for me. We'll, we'll work with what we got. So, next we need to put an AI on here. Mm, now put the AI there. Where's our cab? Cab's way over there. Bring that there. Uh, we want to protect both of them. So we'll go like... Like that. Nothing too fancy, right? Just enough so they don't get destroyed. Because um, any tech that comes in is going to be aiming for them immediately. So I do need to set up some more bubbles. Any Hawkeye bubbles? I think we do. Let's go like that, that. Okay, I'm liking that. We're getting quite a bit of good coverage. Wish we had more Hawkeye bubbles, but we don't. So let's go like that and see what see what coverage we get. It's actually not too bad. We can fill the rest of it in with Geocorp. Put the pair bubble there also. And we will. More field bubbles in places. Oh, okay, we don't need to put one there. We'll go a little overboard here with, like, repair bubbles and stuff. 
no reason not to okay i didn't want to touch that okay <laughs> so we're good in that uh on that gut front now we're somewhat protected so now what we need to do is put some weapons on this thing that should kind of help us with down underneath I have any other good weapons i guess you'd say not really okay and then well we do we have a lot of the hawkeye stuff like that that get some auto cannons on the go here we need that protection you guys The only way this is going to work is with that. <laughs> Having enough protection to keep uh, everything alive. I feel like that's more than enough. Alright, so I, I built a, <laughs> a harvester. I was thinking of Geocorp, but I was like, nah, at the same time, I don't think we need Geocorp right off the bat. Let's use Venture, make a kind of a fast, faster harvester than what we're used to. And, you know, I didn't armor it up too much, didn't put too much firepower on it. Just enough to really keep us alive. That's more or less the important part, right? So, I did uh, fill out the front with, you know, the small drill bits. Nothing too bad. Uh, looks like we're still way overloaded though, hey? We're right against the ground. That's alright. When we get more venture stuff, uh, I think we'll all use the monster truck wheels to do some uh, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, okay. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Gonna collect a little bit of resources for us. Nothing too fancy, you know. Just, uh, you know, get things going. Did we just lose a drill bit? Okay, no. <laughs> it's like, just notice this one little sitting on the ground here. But you know what? It's probably a good thing if we uh, keep it. Uh, we're high centered. Great. All right, uh, maybe what we should have done also is figured out a place to put the SCU. Eh, SCU. You know what, actually, I know, going on a ramble here, I really have not uh, made text that much anymore that revolve around the SCU. They, like, all the text prior, like, back in the day, even, you know, let's say a season or so ago, all of my texts, the first are, like, the third block, let's say, I would add to a tech would be the SCU because I'd have to know exactly where it was sitting. Um, we're high centered once again. So these wheels just are not going to hold up. They're not going to do what we need. But yeah, it's. I just think it's kind of interesting the, the changes that one goes through without really knowing about it, right? Like, uh, right, I guess subconscious changes. I know, a little deep, a little weird. It's just a game, but... <laughs> It's interesting how you grow and change stuff. All right, so there we go. I, I've got the foundation going pretty good. Like, you know, uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good base here. So I got all of the lots of silos in place. Uh, as you guys can see, I think there is, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 lots of silos. I don't have enough uh, filters yet. So that's why these blocks have not been filtered. But uh, I did get the second floor on. Um, right here is the height. The max height of the lots of silos. So what was it? It's two steel girders or brew, brew girders. And then two uh, two by two blocks on top. Are you serious? This could be bad. Um, was not... Never was going to anticipate uh, this happening. Oh, hopefully we have enough auto cannons set up, and it is not a very large tech. We do have cannons, so not too, too wordy. I think we're going to switch these cannons out to just the normal, uh... Sorry, <laughs> I'm watching the time here. Okay, this could be really bad. Yeah, that could have been super bad. Thankfully, we were kind of prepared for it. Sorry, I'm, I gotta get the Geocorp SCU out. 
But yeah, if you guys saw the amount of weapons that guy had when he spawned in, that was pretty crazy. He does have some battleship cannons, uh, some better future weapons, lasers. Um, yeah, that could have been so, so bad. Uh, we're definitely going to need to get turrets set up uh, in areas where they won't be able to spawn in. I guess you'd say. Uh, and the amount of batteries that he had, too. If, uh, <laughs> if he would have been able to get a charge... A longer charge, we definitely would have been done. So, while we're doing this, let's get rid of that gun and that gun. Go here, that, get these cannons on the go. Just because these ones can actually turn a lot more. Uh, they don't pack as much of a punch, but they do pack a punch, and that's all that matters at the moment. We're, we've got to get some turrets going that we have some protection but back to the base so uh max height we have the conveyor belt all the way around on the inside uh when we request something to be made on top here the, the resource should go around up the here oops so just trying to no nope. go up this one turn here's the refinery around to our component factories which in here or up to this point right here uh, either way, I just made it the way it is, but I'm hoping that I, I can fit enough component. Uh, factories. Mm. One, two. I can fit two here. One turn sideways and whatever, and then when we get over here, it'll have to change. Either way, it's just a little mock-up, making sure that we have enough room. The top here, obviously, where we're fabricating doesn't need to be as big as the bottom. Um, but either way, it should work out pretty good for us. That was a little bit, took a little bit longer than I expected. Let's cancel that. Let's see what happens. Those resources are going to go up. Then they're going to come back down. That's the problem, right? Like when you do resource management, no matter how good you have everything set up, eventually it's going to look bad because it just does that, right? Uh, sometimes the AI calls for more more blocks than what is needed and therefore you know, at the end of the day even though you did a really good job of sorting, you didn't uh, See, as you guys can see they've already been spread out okay, so let's take a look at the rest of it here, so we definitely need to do a bunch of other stuff, um, get this up more up to par But yeah, no, I think this is going to be great. This is going to be a good little uh, base for us. We're in a great spot. There's quite a few resources right on the top here, or right over here, um, and then on top of the mountain, too. Also, there's a trading station close enough to us that I can just do this and jump over to the trading station if we need any specialty block, right, that we're not, we don't have already. Um, I'll probably just make a turret here so that we can just jump back and forth. But it's, it is nice to... Uh, like, you could technically just go, where is it here, manage text, and you can just, you could be able to just jump to it. Oh. Did they take that out? I have shot send blocks to inventory and rename. Huh. You used to be able to jump to it, as I remember. I am double clicking on it, it's just not happening, so... Looks like they might have changed it. But, yeah. Base is started. Time to fill it up with uh, resources. That's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.